Welcome. Uh, this is Chris McMillan at the Library Lounge at the Rich Carlton New Orleans in cooperation with Dollar.com. Uh, we're presenting uh, Best Cocktails in New Orleans. Uh, tonight, today, for your drinking pleasure, we're offering you the Pimm's Cup, uh, which I think is one of the great uh, summertime uh, refreshing drinks of all time. Uh, we're going to make it today using uh, fresh lemonade. Uh, Pimm's Cup was a drink that originated in London out of uh, Pimm's Oyster House uh, in the 1820s. Uh, it was really the idea of the first pre-packaged cocktail. Uh, it was quickly followed uh, Pimm's number one, uh, which we're going to be using uh, today, uh, was a category of drink known as a gin sling or a fruit cup. It was quickly followed by Pimm's number two and three. Uh, each was based on a different uh, spirit uh, base. Uh, this is a lovely and delightful uh, drink. Uh, we're going to start off by uh, giving a nice uh, healthy measure of uh, Pimm's number one, about, oh, I'd say about four ounces of, uh, about four ounces of Pimm's. The key to uh, making this drink properly is uh, this is a drink that you can make as dry or as sweet as you want to by the mixer that you're using. Uh, you can use club soda, uh, you can use ginger ale, uh, you can use champagne. Uh, in England they use what they call lemonade, which is very similar to our 7-Up or Sprite uh, lemon lime soda. Today uh, I think it, it's far superior. We're going to use a, a fresh lemonade, uh, which all we have to do to make that is get our juice squeezer. Uh, these are commonly available at kitchen supply houses uh, throughout the city. Normally we would want the juice of about one medium sized lemon uh, because these are slightly smaller than normal lemons. I'm going to use uh, about one and a half. Uh, I'm really looking for about an ounce of fresh lemon juice. I'm going to then need about an ounce of simple syrup. And then we're going to add our we're going to add our fruit. Take a little bit of fresh uh, strawberry, some blueberries, uh, blackberries, a little orange. Uh, the signature garnish uh, for Pimm's Cup traditionally is a, uh, a green called uh, Barrage uh, that's not commonly or easily available here in the U.S. and so uh, we use, uh, we're using, uh, I'm sorry, we're using cucumber as a substitute. Put a nice uh, piece of cucumber. We put the fruit in there to absorb the flavors. There are flavors that are uh, both uh, released by alcohol, alcohol. They're alcohol soluble and those that are water soluble. We're going to top this off with a little bit of water to complete our lemonade mix. And then I'm going to put in just a tiny splash of club soda for a little effervescence and to liven up the drink. We're going to Toss this back and forth a couple of times to combine and mix the flavors together. And we're going to garnish this last with a, a lovely piece of mint. I'm going to slap the mint that releases the oil and bouquet of the uh, mint itself. Put in a couple of straws. And there you have it, springtime in a glass, Pimm's number one. But cheers to you, and uh, look forward to visiting with you again next week.